Hello folks, it's me, Jay. Hi. Uh, we're going to do something a little different today. I'm not going to play Caves of Cud, and I'm also not going to play a roguelike for a change. You know, my channel has become a little monocultured over the last years, uh, and that's okay, you know? I, I've, I've found my niche, but sometimes it is nice to change it up a little. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Hammer of the Gods, which is an old strategy game um, made by Holistic Design, a company that actually still exists, but they don't do computer games anymore. And um, they made a bunch of cool games for DOS and Windows 95. So they made, uh, I think the main thing that they're known for are the merchant print game, merchant print, yeah, print out a merchant, merchant prints games, which were kind of trading simulation management games. Um, and I've never played those. And they also made, what was it called? Something Empires. Um, it's an awesome game. I can't believe I'm not thinking about it. I forgot the name. Whatever. They made a really cool other strategy game later, is what I'm saying. They made a Warhammer game, Final Liberation, which is interesting. I've not played that one. I should play that one, maybe, at some point. But um, the one that I have played back in the day, and um, the one that was kind of the first strategy game I've ever really played, I think, as a kid, was Hammer of the Gods, which is kind of a Norse mythology thing. And, um, yeah... We're going to play that one. Let's start the game, and uh, we're going to talk about the game a little more in a bit. All right. Okay, okay. Hammer of the Gods. Start the DOS box. It was a time of chaos on Midgard. Let's watch the intro. After the once mighty Romans deserted their northern fortresses, long before the Christians brought the dreaded Ragnarok, Okay. It was the age of heroic deeds. <laughs> it was the age of the Norsemen. People feel... Let me... Oops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me quickly check audio levels because... The chump that I am, I didn't do this. Oh, I skipped the intro. Let's view the intro again. Yes. Hello. Ah, yeah. It Good was stuff. Time of chaos on Midgard. After the once mighty Romans deserted their northern fortresses, long before the Christians brought the dreaded Ragnarok, it was the age of heroic deeds. <laughs> it was the age of the Norsemen. People feared the old gods then, for they were strong and wont to trifle in human affairs. Iron men with iron souls brought death and fire in their fearsome dragon ships. Many foes did they send to Valhalla, cradled in the arms of the Valkyr. The greatest of them desired more than an eternity of glorious battle. They desired Odin's favor while still they lived on Midgard. Hell yeah. This was so epic back then. <laughs> Ridiculous, but I love it. Four of the mightiest warriors journeyed in their dreams to Asgard, where Odin Allfather beheld them with his all seeing eye. Oh, that great 90s 3D rendering. Oh, so good. And the color is just wonky because it probably 200 and. 56 colors or something? I don't know. It like gets compressed to hell. <laughs> I love it. If you would be my chosen on Midgard, then Hi Odin. Is mightiest. To do this, you must first earn favor with the lesser gods by completing their quests. Choose well thy paths, be true to their nature, and thy rewards will be great. Only then shall one of you be deemed worthy to become my favored servant and be known throughout eternity as the Hammer of the Gods. Yes. 
Yes, indeed. Wow. <laughs> this kind of, this intro kind of blew me away as a kid. Like, I was pretty small. I couldn't understand anything that anybody was saying there because I didn't speak any English, you know? You, uh, you don't learn that until you are a little bit, a little bit older. Um, especially back then, it was even a little older still. And, um... And that kind of, that was just so epic, you know? Like, it makes you want to start a Viking metal band or something like that. Uh, it's ridiculous, you know? If you, if you look at it right now with the, with the wonky 3D stuff, uh, it looks ridiculous, but it still works, kind of. The voiceover is still good. It's still... I don't know. It still has a certain something, a certain je ne sais quoi, I guess. Um, you know what? Let's start a new game. So, again, as I've said, this was kind of the first strategy game I've ever played. The thing is, back in the day, I only had a demo. I had a demo of the game. I think it was on some kind of shareware CD or magazine CD back in the day, I think. You know, because that's where you got stuff from. And um, the thing about the demo was that it had a turn limit. And you couldn't play, you didn't have any opponents actually, so you were just playing on your own, which kind of worked. It was fun that way still, because there's a lot of neutral stuff and you're still fighting and doing strategy and, th and so on. And you could kind of um, get past the turn limit by just pressing OK and just clicking all the messages away. And then you could kind of keep playing and it would get more annoying and more annoying and more annoying and the game would kind of break at some point. But I played the shit out of that. Um, but the thing is, you know, I, I have the, the real game now. This is installed from the original CD. And it is... Um, I've never actually played a proper, a proper game of Hammer of the Gods. And there's a lot of things you can do. So I, I think I, I will just do this right now. Um, there is novice, fair, average, good, expert person. So we can essentially just pick who we are going to play as. Um, I think I'm just going to play with the humans because um, that's what you could play back then and I think that's kind of the a good standard thing to start out with. I've played a little, I've dabbled a little bit in that game over the years and um, Elf is kind of cool because they have cool units. The other ones I've never really played but we're going to do the classic humans uh, so we're going to be that. We can pick sort of, uh, yeah, how strong they are going to be. So there's five levels and we're kind of at the middle level. The thing is, I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm kind of thinking, but I think we're going to learn more if we get defeated by these as if we just roll through easy opponents, right? So I think we're going to keep them on average, um, and this might end in horrible disaster, because again, I have, disclaimer, I have no idea how to play this game well. So, um, what we're gonna do, the other thing is there's a difficulty session, a sect, uh, but a difficulty thing here, and I, th <coughs> I think what this does is it doesn't really affect how well, because that's that, I think what this does is how difficult sort of everything else is. Like the neutral towns and um, like storms on sea and whatever. So should we just do play on average? Let's not make this a cakewalk. You can also create a random map or play on historic map. We're going to do historic because that's more fun. That's going to be historic Europe. Um, and uh, you can play this per email. Interesting. Tutorial. I think we're not going to do tutorial. I think I remember enough about sort of the basics of the game that I think I'm able to get through on a normal game. So let's just let's just do this. <coughs> let's just start. Done. 
on the Grim? Nah, we're going to be J the Grim. That's me. Grim True Cult. J the Grim. Yay. The fanfare. So this is kind of the the thing about this game is um, it is a strategy game but essentially what you're doing is you're completing quests. So to win the game you need to you need essentially to get up here and complete Odin's quest. And to do that we need to essentially complete all the other quests. I think you can actually skip a few. Um, but I think it would be good, you also get rewards and stuff for that, so I think it's good to actually go through everything, I would, I, I would guess, I'm not sure. Um, and it starts out pretty easy, so Voland asks for one of your daughters to marry, given at the end of the turn if available. Uh, we have two daughters, I don't know if you can actually get more sons and daughters, I don't know if there's more to this than that, but um, we can just do this and finish the first quest immediately. The Squirrel Tail Bearer. Yes, Ratatosk, the Squirrel Tail Bearer. Um, that has just... This... Ratatosk, the Squirrel Tail Bearer. Indeed. This has just etched itself into my brain. You know, I, I have never forgot this. Uh, Ratatosk, the Squirrel Tail Bearer. Oh, God. I didn't even know what a squirrel was back in the day and I didn't like that was kind of the fun thing when I was playing it back then I didn't understand English right so I just went with it um, I could like 100 I don't know what that could mean you we have to explore a hundred spaces and I just went with it as I went on you know and <laughs> I kind of no quest selected okay <coughs> coughing no corona it's, it was just a normal cold. <laughs> um, Weaponsmith, Weaponsmith of, the of the Gods. Yes, I think we're going to start with this one just to get this finished. And uh, yeah, let's start. Okay, and here we go. This is the main thing. Um, so <laughs> we have three units. We have three units, we have a Viking hero, which is kind of the strongest one. Melee 6, defense 5, no missile. Um, this, these are Viking swords, these are just our basic fighters. Melee 4, defense 3, no missile, and can't move as much uh, on the map. So we are kind of limited to 12 move points. And uh, these are bowmen, they can shoot, which is gonna be good. We have a ship, so we can set sail and uh, explore. So we only, we are, this is our, our sort of main town, Ostersund, Ostersund, I don't know, something like that. Um, and what we need to do is we need to set sail and conquer. So the interesting thing about this game is that it is not necessarily kind of an empire building game. You're not really building an empire. You, um, it has a focus on, we're going to get a few towns going we are going to uh, have a few towns and uh, conquer a few towns but I think the game does not want you to just have stuff everywhere what we want to do is we kind of want to um, there's a focus on raiding and uh, not necessarily on conquering I think I'm not sure I don't know what the best course of action is here but uh, we're gonna see so yeah, let's start setting sail. There's not much else that we can do. Also, the game does a pretty interesting thing about um, sort of the map. So you can kind of tell, so there was there are these little town symbols and there's going to be something here. Um, the cool thing about this is that it's pretty accurate up here. You know, there's going to be towns wherever we have these symbols. Um, the further we get away, the less accurate it's going to be because it's just not as explored as you as you can see. Like England looks weird on this map, and this is randomly generated, so the map is always the same. But sort of the the map as displayed here, the unexplored map, is always kind of randomly generated. So we don't know where everything is, and that's interesting. Um, also, other interesting stuff. You know, this is all. Uh, neutral this is all like Europeans and so on our competitors are Vikings too so I think the dwarves are kind of up here 
Um, I think the trolls are somewhere up here, and the elves are also around here. So um, they are doing the same thing that we are doing, but they have different quests. Okay, I think enough. For now, let's just attack Kami. And this is the battle. I think we can make this a little faster. Yes, indeed. And we're not going to do auto battle because I remember that auto battle was bad. Um, and yeah, we're going to fight a little bit. These are just people here. And uh, it's kind of, you know, we are Vikings. We're not... Yeah, let's fight these folks. We're going to remain in defender's position. We're going to kill that guy. But we're going to go back here. We need to do melee with our bow person here. Which isn't ideal, but we need to do that. Let's go down with the Viking hero. I'm going to shoot this guy because they are ranged. Oh, I, th I did not do this well. Oh, well. They only have one health, so it's fine. You know, we have plenty of time to get used to this. So this is kind of another thing. If you if you conquer a town, what you can do is... Yeah, this is a very unpleasant thing here. Uh, we can raid, we can plunder. I don't remember the difference between those. We need to find that out. We can raise the town, which means we essentially just kill everything. And we can subjugate the town, which means we will have the town afterwards. The weird thing about subjugation is that it's not necessarily subjugate, because... Let me show you how this works. So if we subjugate, which we're going to do is, yeah, 168 gold found, 24 population killed, that is everyone, and one new recruits volunteered back home. So we get, like, yeah, um, we can recruit one of those folks that we just, whose town we just destroyed. Um, so if you subjugate some a town, it's kind of strange in this game, but if you subjugate a town, you murder everybody, you burn the town to the ground, and essentially you colonize a new... Like, you, you get your own folks in here, right? And in order to start a new town, we need Viking bowmen or Viking swords. So we're going to leave the sword fighter here and end the turn. Valand, wep weaponsmith of the gods, gives us a rune blade. Viking heroes can use weaponry like that, so... We're going to do that. We're going to pick that up. Turn two. Um, Ulf the Fey, those are the elves, offers you limited trade. We're just going to accept that for now. Gore <coughs> Blood Axe offers you limited trade, sure. Eric Nornson offers you peace. Yeah, and limited trade. It's fine. Uh, I think it's, at the start it's probably better to, to be peaceful. I guess. So now we have a few more quests because of these lines, as you can see. So we have Groa, the Sorceress. Donate the sum of 250 gold to Groa. Collect it at the end of the turn when available. We have 269, so we could theoretically do this. Find or have found at least one city next to a river square. I think there's going to be something like that around. So how about we do Thialfe? Um, we're going to wait with Groa a little bit, because 250 gold, yeah. We're going to wait with that a little bit, um, because I don't want to spend all of my gold right now. So we're going to do a Theolfe. Trusted, trusted Servant of Thor. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Select. Next to a river square. So Kami is already that, you know? There's a river square here, so that will also work. Um, as opposed to something like civilization, you can't really do much with the towns, right? Stores for wares, I don't know how that works. That's probably a trading thing. And we have this town because it's Jay the Grim, yeah. Because this town is extremely small, it only generates an income of two. Um, <coughs> this generates an income of 51. But uh, the town will grow. And as you can see, this, there's this little civilization-y thing where it will generate food and wares. So this, so mountains is wares, hills is more, more wares than food. Rivers, like these river and sea squares, are also pretty good. It's two and two, one and two. So I think this um, determines how... I'm not really sure how that actually works, but... Uh, 
I think this will probably determine income and have something to do with trade. I think trade is also a passive thing in this. There's not much economy going on in this game. And food is probably growth, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure how that works because the game is not ex not extremely transparent about it. So what we're also going to do is we're going to recruit. Um, we have two recruits. One of them is from the town we just raided, I guess. We're going to recruit those because we need to get kind of a kind of a group going here. Um, so we're going to have finished the quest, so that is good. Let's go back to Ostersund. We're going to do this, and I need to kind of... I need to pick up the rune blade, yes. Plus one rune blade, so that increases the melee, melee power of this viking hero by one, I think. Right? That's probably what that does. Uh, so that's good. So now that we've picked up these folks, they have zero movement so we just need to we just need to be done with the turn now done no more units to move end turn indeed let's end the turn we get three units of berserkers from this theolfe trusted servants of servant of thor gives you three units of berserkers that's good turn three may our new treaty enrich both kingdoms yes indeed offers you peace sure we're going to do that partial trade that is fine i think at the, at the start to get going it's probably good to have that on new levels of civilization to our kingdoms next message yes partial trade that's good so grow up <laughs> that was 250 we don't have that right now Okay, establish a peace treaty with one viking or attempt peace with all vikings. I think we're going to get this also pretty easily because we already have peace with one viking. Odi, God of courage. Attempt raiding one city of any size, success is not necessary. We're also going to do that, so both of them... Of Let's start with this one. Okay. Um, and we're probably going to raid in this turn as well. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. So let's explore. Let's just explore in this bay here. It's not really a bay, but whatever. Ulu. Yeah. Let's raid this town, and we're also going to subjugate this town. I think we're just going to get a few towns in this general area here. Um, just to get started, you know? Just to have a bit of things here. <laughs> the interesting thing is, as we, you know, we're kind of making peace currently. Um, is that we don't actually, right now we don't need to fight anybody, like any of the other folks. We don't need to be in war. I think what will happen at some point is that the quests are going to lead us to war at some point. I think we're probably going to have to kill off other folks um, later on. Because, you know, we're Vikings. Uh, the the bowmen are not really great, but uh, uh, that's the cool thing about the elves. They have good bowmen. <laughs> subjugate. We're going to subjugate. Again, we're going to keep the bowmen because we can use them. We're going to use the viking swords. No, we're not all done because I think I want to recruit some more. Yeah, let's do that. End the turn. Rune shield and a viking hero. Cool. Got another viking hero from that. So I think the quests are a good way to get uh, get good stuff initially, you know, to get some good units going and stuff like that. Enrich both kingdoms. Full trade. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get money. Um, full trade. Yeah, sure. So what do we have? Ullur. Go to Horheim, located west of your home city, and defeat the skeletons there. Okay, that's interesting. That's a little quest. Raid four cities of at least village size and donate the sum of 750. Um, okay, we're going to we're going to do Modi first, I think. Yeah, I think that's probably good because um, right now it's still easy to raid Vasa. Yeah, we can do those, and that will finish that quest as well. <coughs> All right. Shoot. We're just going to wait because it's always better to attack than to defend. So right now, since they don't have any... Um, if they had... So I think what the game does is if they had a superior um, shoot mi uh, missile weapon power 
thingy, um, <coughs> they would actually wait. They would not. They would not actually come at us. But right now they can't do anything else. So, yeah, that worked good. All right, subjugate. Yes, indeed. We're going to do this for now. I think it's going to become pretty tough to actually hold all these, um, to hold too many towns because we need to actually, you know, we need to defend them as well. So one thing that we can do is we can build towers. So we can build roads, which will make travel easier. And we can kind of, so you first build a road, I think, then it becomes a tower, then it becomes a fortress, and so on. And with increasing cost. And uh, what they will do is they will automatically attack enemy enemies. So we need to kind of start thinking about that. You know, how to... Well, we're going to do that at some point, but uh, how to sort of defend our cities. We're going to recruit another Viking sword. All right, done. I think we're done. Let me just quickly check. You know what? So see, that's a road. Let's just try that. And this, we can build a small castle that's 350. That's very expensive. Okay. But I think that's going to be, oh, a giant slaying ax. Is it a giant? It is a slaying. Is it a slaying axe that is giant? No, it's probably an axe for slaying giant. A Viking hero and two units of berserkers. That's very good. Okay. Turn five. New treaty. The squirrel tail bearer. Yeah, let's do Ratatosk right now. I think we have probably already explored as much. Um. So that's a bigger town, as you can see. We could probably do this. We should probably have a better force for that. But we're going to get that as well. Okay, there's Aeland. Okay, that's a, just a little hamlet. You know what? We're going to get that as well. <laughs> probably not going to get as much, but um, whatever. Might as well. Okay, we cannot shoot yet, so you come closer. I think these don't really have a big reach. Uh, okay. We feel kind of bad doing this, you know. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Let's get in. All right, good. I'm going to subjugate this town as well. Yeah, there's not much going on here. Um, and we're going to lose our last bowman. Okay. Now we got a pretty good party going here. Uh, we don't have any any bowmen for you yet. I'm going to buy a ship right now because I think we need that right now to actually get anywhere. What do we have here? We have Gavla. We don't have any... and Uppsala. Yeah. <coughs> I think what we need to do is we kind of need to maybe consolidate a bit. No, we don't. The giant slaying axe does is that it also increases melee. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Oh, sorry, Ace. I forgot to do. I forgot to DM you. I was thinking about. I was kind of busy recently. I actually forgot to do that. Uh, I'm going to DM you. I still intend to do that. Yeah, after the stream, I will send you a DM. Because I'm actually interested in what you are, what you're cooking up there. Okay. All right, we have Paul. I think we need to actually get going with a few of the, of the stronger towns here. Let's just recruit right now. Um... I think there's a big town here, Gotland, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I wasn't... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot. We got one rune avenger. Don't know what that is. I don't actually... 
need to actually take a look at the items, maybe. Okay, I think we can now donate the gold. I think that's gonna work. Okay, so we have this little group in Aeland. What we're gonna do is we're going to go up here, we're going to collect our folks, and we're going to recruit some more. Uh, we have a kind of a dearth of bowmen. We're just going to explore with you a little bit, you know? We're gonna have to leave our our ship somewhere, which you can actually no 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 you. I think we you can still move without the ship. Yes, indeed. Uh, so we're going to fall on land here and explore a little bit. Um, you are done. You are done. Spell. There are spells that we can cast. Okay, we don't have any spells right now, but there's something there. Send. Okay, we can send messages. I think that's only useful. Oh, and you can send gold. Okay. Um, recruit, colonize. Ah, okay, so we can actually get some more folks in our existing towns. Diplomacy. Let's check the diplomacy. Nobody's at war with anybody. Gold units, cities, and win. Okay. I guess those are statistics here. I don't know what honor is. Full trade? Okay. Limited trade. So this is the money that we get? Okay. All right. Sure. Again, I kind of <laughs> don't really know what I'm doing. Viking hero and one rune slayer. Okay, I think this is going to be quite the force here. It's quite the force to be reckoned with. Seek out and defeat one monastery and raid their stores. I think we can't do that. Okay, with the same quest two times. That's 750. Raid four cities. Go to Horheim. I think we should probably do this west of your home city and defeat the skeletons there. Let's do this. Let's see whether we can find that. We have a pretty good group going here. Let's see if we can... So west of our home city. I guess we're gonna need to go into the mountains, right? Oh, Tampere. Um, yeah, we can actually colonize this. We can actually get some folks in here. Let's do it with two. And uh, maybe explore around here a little bit. There doesn't seem to be anything around. Yeah. We're going to recruit some more folks. I guess <coughs> we're just always going to recruit. I think that's probably a good idea. All right. And I think we need to start actually conquering some of the bigger towns. I think what I want to do is I kind of want to get all of these around here just to have a little bit of a base baseline here. But yeah, the quests are actually starting to get a little more difficult. Maybe that's the one, actually. Hmm. Not really. So you're just going to be here. <coughs> I think another thing that probably makes sense is to split our folks up between raiding groups and <laughs> colonizing groups. This is all very imperialistic, what we're doing here, but that's the game. I think we cannot continue here. Yeah. I think we should probably get back to our ship. Where's our ship? My ship gone? Why is my ship gone? My ship just go bad. Anybody else get my ship? What's happening? Where's my ship? <coughs> hey man, where's my boat? Okay. You know? Can maybe do something like that to be able to get units around more easily. All right. Let's find that town. Horheim, there we go. The problem is there's one of the dwarfs on there. Shit. So that's actually that's actually one of the other players. And we can't go there just yet. We'll have to wait until they move away. Hmm. It's kind of
kind of bad that my ship is gone. I don't like that. Kind of stranded down there. Yeah, <coughs> you need to be done. We're going to recruit one more. We're just going to stay here for the time being. I'm not really doing as much as I want to do right now. Turn 10, human. Okay. Ah, okay, now we can actually go here and fight the skeletons. Hello! <laughs> These are some goofy looking skeletons. Awesome. All right. So we're going to stay here again and we're going to wait for them to come. We have a pretty good force here with the Viking heroes and the and the berserkers here. All right, got a hit. Everybody can fight one of the skeletons. Yes, I think that's gonna work out. Not sure about the berserkers. Ah, yeah, there we go. Um. So you will remain here. So you will go down here, you will go down here. Ah, lost one berserker. Well, such it goes. Oh, that was a that was a tough skelly. Okay, we did this, and that's the quest. We're going to go back to Ostersund. Ostersund, I don't know. I'm bad at it. Okay, let's do that. We're going to just leave these folks here right now. We need to we need to get to raiding again. I think I'm going to um, make this a full group, and uh, we're going to go for some of the bigger towns here. Okay, they have a bow person. They're actually kind of stronger. Scotland is pretty big as well. I think we can we can take them on. We'll have some losses, but uh, I think we can take them on. I should probably just attack with those. I think they're going to be fine. I think they're going to be fine. Problem is the enemy is going to wait because they have ranged units. Ah, we're going to see. End turn. Oh, a Viking hero and two units of Berserker and a plus four rune defender. That's a good one. That's a good item. That's an item that I want. Goddess of fate. Weird. The goddess of fate. For Seti. The lawgiver. By starting at least one new colony. Yeah, that's that's easy. We're gonna do that. So we have another group here now, essentially. Um so how about we get started with you folks? And uh yeah, we don't have range again. Uh not a fan of that. Be done with you. Definitely need to raid some more. And we're going to go up with you as well. And turn. Yeah. Okay, so we will need to start one new colony from now on. That makes sense. Okay, there's a raiding group. I think we can take this on. We're going to have to attack ourselves, but uh, it's fine. Yeah, they are behind. Okay. Because they are ranged. Yeah, okay. This is not good. We should have... I think this is not great. Oh well. The problem is they're just going to wait there. They have a little choke point. We're going to lose a few units here. You go in. We need to soften them. It would have probably been better to start with you folks here. Ah, that's going to be a loss. Okay, we got one of you done. We're not going to go in with you just yet. You go in. Okay. All right, it's fine. So you move forwards. You stay there. You stay there. You move in. You go forwards. All right, next one's dead. Oh yeah, this is going to, we're going to lose a bunch of folks here. And you have the plus four rune defender, at least. That's something. Oh no, that was bad, that was wrong. Everything I did was wrong. Shit. 
Oh dear. I guess you're gonna have to move in. Next. Okay. All right, good. Now we're trucking. We lost a bunch of folks here. Okay, attacking without any ranged units is bad. That just that just went sideways all the way. It's fine. It's fine. We did it. And we can still subjugate because we have one Oh yeah, we got some stuff. Okay. We're still we still have one Viking sword left. So that's alright. Um we're gonna go here with you folks. We're going to recruit. We just have one bowman. It's not it's not great. Let's buy another ship. And we got another group going here. That means we have completed the quest at least. And you? I'm gonna keep going. I think I'm going to build a few roads because that's gonna be useful. Like that. And now you can actually move further. You know what? Do that and do that. You can actually properly move to Ostersund. Good! Good, 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 good. I think we are fine. Yeah, we need to restock this group. I guess we can go with them and have a pretty strong group there, but we need ranged folks. We definitely need ranged folks. Alright, yeah, let's be done. And can we recruit someone still? Or two, yeah, no recruits available. Yeah, okay. Blessed fishing, plus one food on rivers. That's nice. That's a good thing. I think it's only going to, really going to help one of our towns, but uh, still. So Vidar, send a strong son to learn the law of berserker warriors and bring it back to your clan. We can do that. We have sons. Plunder five city of at least berg size. Okay. Um, 750 gold. Let's do the sun thing right now. Should probably not go by what's easiest, but um. So you move in here. You okay? That's our raiding party. I think we're going to attack. Poor. Hey, Jedi Clemens, thank you for the subscription. You promised it a year ago. <laughs> it's fine. Nobody needs to. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Nobody needs to subscribe, but um, I'm happy that you decided to, to do that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So let's create this so we can actually also move over land. You know, I still haven't done the emote stuff that I have promised for years, so I'm not in a position to judge here. So, uh, yeah. Okay, all right. So, um, we got this going, we got this going. We need to actually get to some monasteries and stuff. Um, probably some here. This looks like it, definitely. And uh, I think for that we will need to actually get to Europe. Need to explore some more. That's gonna be that's gonna be vital here. Let's be done. End turn. The Berserker way. I don't know what that actually does. Maybe we can recruit Berserkers now. That could be could be a thing. Okay, what's the Loki? Three cities of at least town size. Watch for counterattacks. Yeah, I think we should probably need to start doing that. Yeah, let's start doing that. Actions. Recruit. Yes, we can recruit six berserkers now. That's good. Okay, all right. I need more bowmen, though. How? I don't know how we... Get those. I don't know what influence is that. That's kind of my main problem here. Okay, let's get this town. 
sallied forth to meet your attack. Because See, that's what happened, because we have the bowman, and they are seen as superior to those. I think because they have higher range. So we, with the bowman, we could f kill them without them being able to fight back. I think that's the reason. That's why they... Yeah. That's the cool thing about the elves, you know? At the at, As the elves, you have just a ton of ranged units. Yeah, let's kill those with the Viking heroes. They should have stayed in, defend, in the defender's position. Oh well, it's fine. Yeah, actually got a few hits, yeah. That's cool. It's cool. They're not going to be able to do anything. Alright. Good. Got you murdered. Uh, we're going to subjugate as well here. We are not going to lose our bow person, though. We're going to get one of our Viking swords in here. Oh dear. It's a thing. It's a thing. Attack off the... F I don't want to do that. Then reduce trade. I don't want to wage a war right now. I haven't even met them yet. Just ridiculous. Okay. Who can we recruit? We have no bowman. Yeah. I'm not a fan of that. Uh we're going to use this troop here to explore a little. Let's see if, whether we can find a monastery. What quest? Let me take a look at my quests. Magni, God of Strength. Status. Three more attacks needed. Yeah, that was at least village size. Okay, uh, we're going to do that with you. The problem is that they have a bowman as well. So it's going to be a thing. Uppsala... Gotland, yeah. Gotland? <laughs> okay, let's let's set sail here. Let's set sail. And what we're gonna do is we're also going to recruit Let's recruit a few of these berserkers. Cost sixty. It's not that expensive. We have a group of berserkers here. Woo. <laughs> okay. Sure, why not? Right? There's no reason not to. Okay, there's Orland. That's a small little town. Not one that we that will actually get us anywhere in terms of our quest, but it's fine. Okay. Doom, 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 doom. Doom. Boom. I feel a little bad fighting those. Yeah. No. I'm going to go back. Don't need to, but it's it's fine. Shoot. Yes. Killed. All right. Should we subjugate this town? I think it's probably not. Let's plunder. Let's try that. Yeah, we've reduced the. We've kind of reduced this town. Murdered a bunch of folks. I still don't know what the difference between raid and plunder is. Maybe you kill more people, do more damage to the town if you if you raid instead of plunder. Okay. So what do we have here? Okay, there's these will attack, right? These will actually go for me. There's Bornholm. Uh, I mean, okay. Okay, they're actually... See? Because I don't have any ranged unit here, they're just moving back. They're having me attack. It's not going to help them, but... What happens if I don't do anything? Yeah, they're not doing anything. They're like, fuck you. Rightfully so. Okay. No! They killed one of my berserkers. Dear me. Okay, well. Um, let's plunder. I should have actually checked what the difference was. I'm a dumbass. Okay. So these are strong. These are... Kind of melee six, they are kind of on the level of, of Viking hero, and they have melee missile four. 
Oh, are you also miss out four? They're kind of the same. All right. Um, mm -hmm. I am in trouble with my ranged units. Okay, there's a Riga. We cannot be on land here because they will attack us otherwise. Actions, recruit. Okay, we can recruit at least one more bowman. I mean, that is something at least. We're going to buy another ship. We're probably What we're probably going to do is we're going to try to get the bowman into this group here. So that we have at least two. Okay. I mean, sure. We need to get to raiding. We need to actually get to... I think we're going to take these. We're going to go back here. Um, we're going to get the bowman in. And I think we're going to go for these towns then. Yeah. Task assignment. I'm going to use this group to explore some more. These shores. Okay, there's another town. I need to find a monastery. We need to not be at the shores because we're going to be attacked by these castles. Uh, Davina. Okay. Oh, no. I wanted to go back with you. I'm sorry. Shit. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'm going to get the ship. I'm going to go down here. And we're going to deactivate all the berserkers. You're going to leave the ship and you're going to move over. Indeed. Okay. I think that's fine. We're going to need those for maybe subjugating. Yeah, we're going to subjugate Uppsala. And we're just going to use the Berserkers to fill up that group again. Let's see, what do we have in terms of recruiting? No, that's diplomacy. Wow, the the green one is really going in terms of gold. Why? Hmm, interesting. Um, We have one more. I think we're going to actually get another... You know, we're going to move you back. We're going to get another bowman into that group. I want to have stronger ranged units there. Task assignment. We need to actually get done with that quest. I don't know if I'm playing well. I might not be playing well. I might be playing very badly. But uh, I'm going to figure that out at some point. Rostock. Yeah, we're in Germany, folks. We're in Germany. Um, Uda, Shashin, Saxon, okay, indeed, Germany, Poland, I think that's kind of the, the area we are at, and still no monastery. Um, okay, with that group, we're going to start attacking Uppsala. I think I want that town. I do kind of want that town. All right, so we need to actually move forward so that we can attack the bowman. So we're going to get these forwards. Forwards. We need to get rid of the bowman. Yes, 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 yes. And they decide to topple the walls. Good, that's what I wanted. All right, so. Kill the first one. I'm going to not remain. I'm going to kill the second one. Not remain. You have only three, so I'm going to go with you right now. Nope. I'm going to wait. You, you are going to wait. I'm going to wait as well, and we're going to attack the ranged unit here. Mm, just one. Okay, we might lose a berserker here. Yeah. Nah! Might lose... Oh, no. Okay, so you cannot shoot. Mm. 
Yes, okay, good. That worked. Uh, we're going to subjugate. And we're going to keep our bowmen because they are valuable. We're gonna subjugate with our two Viking swords here. So this group... How about we do this? Um, let's recruit. Oh yeah, two more bowmen. Ah, now we're actually kind of trucking here. So, um, Uppsala, how are you doing? I think we're going to get one more bowman in here and fill the rest up with berserkers. So what we need is two berserkers and one bowman. Yeah. Oh, I did the wrong thing. We're going to have you go here. We're going to have you go here. We need at least one more unit in here. Like you, for example, because we need to actually sail the ship back. All right, so you are good. So we're going to move you here. We're going to leave you. We're going to leave the ship and go here. So we got that troop going. Yes, indeed. And you are going to sail back to the hometown. And with this group, we're going to get Gotland. What we're not going to do is we are not going to... Right, so we need to actually get a group going with Viking swords that we can use to then actually colonize. Because we're not going to colonize with, with these folks. I might just plunder the town to start out with. Okay, I think we're good. You are done. You are done. Um, might actually already get you folks on the ship. Yeah. 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 And uh, where is my other party? You. Right. I need to get these folks northwards and pick up and pick up some uh, bowmen as well. All right, and let's start building some stuff because um, I want to actually fortify Uppsala a little bit and maybe fortify this a little bit. Now we have no wealth left. Oh dear, I just was a bit reckless with that, but I think we need to do that. Let's start. Six units of berserkers, shit me. All right, at least we got done with that. Still haven't found a monastery, which is kind of stressing me out. Um, so I think we're gonna need to get going with our one raiding group. Uh, 750 gold. Let's do that next. So, we're going to go north here with these folks. Um, and you are going to attack Gotland. Yes, and they sally forth to meet our attack because we have three bowmen. Okay. All right, let's get this going. You're going to murder this guy. You're not going to remain. You are going to murder this guy. Going to remain. You're going to wait. Nope. You're going to wait. You are going to wait. You are going to shoot the bowman. Cannot shoot shoot that guy because we don't have line of fire. I'm going to shoot you. We're going to oh, let's shoot that guy. You are two, so I don't want you to attack. I want you to attack. Okay. Um, let's move forward. Let's kill that guy. Move forward and move forward. Let's kill the bowman. Yes, indeed, that worked. Okay, that went well. And we're going to raise the town. Two new recruits volunteered back home. Okay, we have so many folks here. Um, okay, we have so many berserkers. So what we're going to do 
is we're going to get these bowmen onto the ship. Yes, and we're going to sail down here. And we're going to do a little switcheroo in the next turn. What can we recruit? Can we rec Yeah. Now we're actually getting going with the bowmen. That's good. Okay. Guess we're going to be done. I think I should probably do more with these guys up here. We'll probably start exploring a little bit just with my berserkers, you know. We have this little berserker group here. So how about we have a group with just berserkers? It's probably a bad idea. Well, let's just do it, why not? We have so many berserkers, we have more berserkers than we know what to do with. So, how about you go? And uh, we're just going to explore the land a little bit. I think there's not going to be much here, but uh, this might be a monastery. I think we need to actually get our folks over there. So. All right, done. Let's have that be a group. Let's have you be a group. And turn. Oof. Okay, so we are going to get rid of one of you, which no, no, which means we need to do this. It's always a bit cumbersome. We're going to leave the ship and go over here, and we're going to have you two leave that ship, and go over here. So we have now we have two proper raiding parties. That's very good. We have the third ship here um, with a few Viking swords, which is good because we are going to use those to subjugate Gotland. Oh, there's stuff happening down here. The, the dwarves got born home. Okay. And they raised Orland. Maybe we can actually just get that town. Okay. Um, build. Also, oh no, we need to wait with building because we need to actually finish that quest. Okay, so let's set sail over here. Let's see whether we can find a monastery to raid. Oh shit, uh, that group's going to get attacked. Yeah, we're going to at get attacked by you. Shit. Ah. 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 Okay, at least we're going to get Gotland. Yes. Okay. Get that wealth going. And uh, let's colonize all in this. Oh no! That's you. Oops, hello. Um, we're at peace with them, so that's kind of fine right now. We're going to get this group going as well. We need to really be careful about the shores with the with the castles. It's going to be an attack soon. Mm -mm. Okay. In any case, can we recruit? I'm not going to recruit right now because I need to spend that gold on on the quest. Rune weapon, Viking hero, two units of berserkers. That's kind of all right. We're going to get another full party going here. Did we get attacked? Maybe we didn't get attacked. We didn't get attacked. That's cool. Let's do the monastery thing. I think it's time. We need to do that. We need to do that. What's Heimdall? Two cities of at least village size. Probably actually going to be easier. Weird. Uh, but we don't have any cities right now. Defeat one monastery and raid their stores. We're going to do that. Okay. But they didn't attack, actually. Oh, there's another. Oh, there's a monastery. Good. Nope. 
Folks, I think we need to get rid of this of this castle. So we're gonna do it. Can you shoot them already? Yes, you can. So, going to, well, we're taking hits here, but it's fine. We need to get rid of these bowmen. Ah, come on. Yes, first one. This might actually be enough for them to topple the walls. No, it's not? Okay. Uh, come on, kill him. Should probably get closer. Come on! Yes, hit. I'm going to move that guy back. And you move forwards. Yes! Alright. Now I'm going to have to topple the walls, suckers. We're going to attack this guy because he's strong. I think this is kind of the equivalent of the Viking hero, and this is kind of the equivalent of the Berserker. This is the equivalent of the Viking sword. All right, we're going to wait as long as we can. We're going to try to soften them up a little. Yes, that's good. Um, the red one. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, so... You are going to attack the red one. Yes, that worked. You are going to attack the golden one. That worked. You are going to kill that guy. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. We are trucking, folks. We are destroying that castle. The castles are what does the counterattacks. So, yeah. We need to get rid of that before we can actually do the other stuff. 200 gold found. That's nice. Did we... Destroy our ship? No, you still have your ship. That's okay. Um, let's sail into that river. See whether there's anything else. No. Okay, we're going to attack the monastery. And kill those monks. <laughs> uh, well. Oh no, we need to actually move forwards. In order to be able to shoot the ranged fighter there you're staying here that's smart all right you remain here you remain here you move back I'm going to kill that monk move forwards to attack but you're not gonna remain you move back you move back but let's kill you yes yes all right that's the monastery 200 gold found all right uh we might actually get lagoda now that i'm here okay there's probably another castle there we might get attacked next turn we're gonna see we're gonna see Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we got another quest go done. Let's recruit. Uh, overstacked. Cannot recruit. So... No. First of all, what we're gonna do is we're going to get you out of here. Because I want another proper raiding party, and for that we need three... Bowman. Okay. All right. I feel a bit better about everything right now. This might go wrong here with the castle that is probably up there, but we're going to see about that. We're going to see about that. Um, you. Is that unit gone? Yeah, they are. So let's start a colony at Orland. So that's all right. Aland is actually kind of growing. 
it's one of our largest towns. I think you get a lot of food from yeah, from the from the ocean squares. And I think we're going to have to start building some things here. Yeah, let's build a road over the mountain. Let's build a road to Uppsala. So that we have a good way to get to all of our towns. We probably need to start fortifying some of these areas here. Okay, you are done. You I'm going to consolidate these troops. Um, you are done. Oh yeah, we have our little berserker. Our little band of berserkers here. Okay, and turn. Location of Grendelheim. And two units of Berserkers. I don't know what Grendelheim is and what we need to do there, but we're going to find out. All right. Mm-hmm. Provide you with map info. Okay, good. I don't know what we need to do there, though. One city of any size. Oh, right. Yeah, sure. We're going to do that. We're going to raid that city, in fact. Um, but we're going to do that with you. Yeah, I think three ranged and a full and a full line of strong melee is kind of the way to go here for these groups. So for the elves, they don't have Viking heroes and berserkers. They have also two kinds of ranged attackers and way stronger ranged attackers. In uh, you know, and that's really fun because. Yeah. I don't know if it is really all that balanced because it seems to be a little overpowered. But, you know, I hope we don't have to fight them. <laughs> the elves. We're gonna see. Okay. Ugh, come on. Nobody hits anything. So we're going to raise this town. And this is our new group. Our new, our new raiding group. So, recruit, we're going to buy another ship. And you are going to set sail. I think what we're going to need to start to do is we need to get, actually get rid of some of these castles and uh, sack some of these towns, you know? Okay, um, yeah, there's Grendelheim. I, there's probably going to be a quest that takes us there, right? Right. Hmm. There's also this. There's a larger town there. Okay, Skagen. We should probably get rid of this and do some damage there. So... Start sailing south. We still have our ship here. Um, and we need you. Okay. You know what? We're going to pick up another bowman. I want to do the three ranged fighters. So you're going to start a new colony. You are done. You are done. I'm just going to explore here. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is I uh, probably need to get way over there, though. I kind of want to find the the dwarves, you know, and their hometown and stuff like that. Well, we're going to see about that. Okay, so you let's consolidate these. And let's move back into town and recruit three more bowmen. This actually also kind of we could probably be able to do some damage with you. Um, okay, done and turn. A dwarf hero and three units of dwarves. Right, a dragon slayer sword. That's very interesting. All right, folks. I need to actually save my game, by the way. If I lose this save game for weird shit, then uh, I'm going to be bummed. 
All right, so what's Eden? 750 gold. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. We can get actually some dwarf units here. Save as. That was just a test save. J1. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a quick break because I need to go to the restroom. And uh, I'll see you in a minute. Whoops, do not change the view. I got a, yeah, whatever. Got a good look at my amazing pajama pants. Um, hmm. No, I'm doing this wrong. We need to move you back. And we need to get, you know what? You know what? Let's get all of you over here. To use you to fill you back up. Indeed, with probably our strang uh, strongest, our strongest party right now. This one here with the three equipped giant slaying axe rune shield. Yep, this is great. So we have our dwarf friends here. So dragon slayer sword. Yeah, dwarf hero. They are strong. Normal dwarfs. Melee 5, defense 4. What do the berserkers have? Melee 5. Okay, so these are essentially just dwarven versions of berserkers and viking heroes. But that's fun. So, yeah, maybe we can actually... Yeah, let's get a dwarven party going, actually. So, let's have some ranged units. We're going to put them in there and uh, have another good group. Need to wait a little bit longer though. Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to. Mm hmm. All right. Um. Okay, there's nothing here. Huh. Ah, the map wasn't really all that accurate, wasn't it? Okay, so let's start a colony here with you. And you are done now. Oh, it takes so long to move, but it's okay. Um, right, with that group, what I want to do is we're going to destroy this castle. Yes, we're going to destroy this castle. Oop. It's okay. Let's move forwards with all of you. Mm 
We're gonna have to try to withstand the shots. Oh no. You're probably going to be dead. Come on, kill him. Ah! Next berserker is getting attacked. Yes. Okay, decide to topple the walls. Yeah, good. All right. You, you can't hit him, right? No. So, mm-hmm. Okay, let's soften you up a little. No. You can attack there. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. No. Okay. Let's get a few shots in. Yes, okay, good. Yes. No. No. Yes, okay. Destroyed that castle. Fantastic. And there's a Zealand. Um interesting thing is you can still Okay. Alright, so we're going to have this group go towards here, because I think I'm going to colonize Zealand. One thing that I actually need to do is um, let's do that. I'm, I think I'm going to get a full group of folks going. Okay, let's move in. A full group of Viking swords that we can use to... Oh dear me. You are always getting pelted, aren't you? Going to do this in the, the usual tactic. Oh no! Oh well. This is not going all that well. No! Mm. Okay. You know what? We're going to move towards them. Come on, kill him. Come on. Nobody's hitting anything. Yes. Uh. Uh. Yes, okay. So, let's soften them up a little. They are probably going to topple their walls. Yes, indeed. Nope. 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 Whoa! That guy just killed my hero! Holy shit! Like, with two hits! <laughs> you get the ride of the Valkyries. I mean, that's ridiculous. Like... You know, it's... It's ridiculous. So we're gonna raise this. Ah, yeah. and now this this group is kind of decimated. Oh well. We have another no. Yeah, let's be done. Hmm. Okay, we need to get this group back up. You. Okay, let's be done. I think we're done, yeah. A dwarf hero, two units of dwarves, yeah. And one cloak of fire. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Hi 
Ray two. I think we need to do this next. It's the same. It's the same thing. And that's another monastery. I think we can actually just fight the other monastery again for that. Um, let's go. For, let's go for Heimdall. Okay, this is our awesome group right now. This is our f fuck yeah group. Uh. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to move over here and we're going to move over here and <coughs> we're going to fight that castle next. Um, <coughs> yeah, what I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oops, let me see. You have no ship? You have no ship. Okay, I need that anyways then. Uh, ba -ba -ba. What we're going to do is we're going to take you. going to move you over here. Oops. Without the ship. I want to start a colony here. Yes. Okay. Now. You are done. Let me see. This group. I mean, that's kind of nice. Kind of a nice group. Um. All right. Okay, that's a pretty ranged focus group. Maybe we need to actually split that up a little at some point. Kami has gotten big. Um, we might go for Skagen. <coughs> All right. So... No, what am I doing? So first of all, let's get you off here. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, you two. You are going to join them. You are going to join them. You are going to not join them like this so we need another ranged bowman let's just recruit all the bowmen that we can get and uh yeah then we're finally gonna have another group another raiding group so three of you are gonna go Gonna go here. So I think I'm going, I'm going to use this as a group to. Whoops, no. Let's let's do this. Oh god, there's a lot of unit maintenance here. I'm gonna move you up here. I'm gonna move you down here. Right, and I'm going to use this as a group to colonize cities. Um, let's buy another ship. Okay, these are the trolls. You have skeletons. Skeletons and trolls. Yeah. Okay. Um I guess that's fine. Kinda know where those are now. Be done. We'll be done with you as well, yes. We're going to do this right next time. You're just going to stay here for a bit. Uh, yeah, done. And turn. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Louises. Okay. 
empire phase, a spread phase. Don't know what that actually entails, but uh, sure. Turn 25. Okay, we're going to destroy this castle. Yeah, yeah, we need to do that. So that we can actually sack those villages. Oh no. Yes, good. Ah, oh, come on. I think we're gonna wait here, that's better. Oh dear, okay, you're going to- No! Oh, fuck me, I, I did wrong, I did wrong. Ah, good, okay. Okay. Ah. I decided to topple the walls, that's all right, good. Already doing that. So you shoot this guy, you also shoot this guy, yes, get rid of the ranged fighters. You move back forwards, you move back. And we need to soften up that golden guy. Ah, there we go. Yes, all right. So you murder, or mm. well, you don't murder. Nope. Yeah, good. Move back. Oh. Ah, lost a berserker. It's fine. That happens. The problem is now this guy. Shit, we need to do this in melee. Oh, at least that guy was softened up enough. Okay. All right, that worked. 200 gold found. Destroyed that, and now we might actually go for Talon. You know what? We're gonna do that immediately. Yes. Yes. Ah, come on. Oh. Yeah, awesome. Yes! Fantastic! Truckin'. Decide to topple the walls. You're gonna do that, that's, that's all right. And we're just gonna wait for you here. Nope. 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 So all of you, I should have shot before, whatever. Nope. I ne always need to remind myself to first shoot and then fight in a turn. Okay. Let's raid that town. Okay. See, when you raid a town, you don't kill it. You don't destroy it. I see. I see how that works. That's the difference. Okay. Cool. Yeah. A lot of folks here. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, so we're going, going to get our dwarf group going here. All right, so this is a full group. I did that wrongly because that was stupid. Whatever. Lost a bunch of movement because of that. It's fine. Let's go here. And okay, you move in here. Sure. You move here. We're going to get another ship. I'm gonna get you going. Another thing that we're gonna do is, okay, wait. No, recruit. 
Okay, three of you, one of you. I'm going to do this. And we're going to buy another ship. That cost a lot, but it's fine. Uh, so with those, we're going to go down and have some more fun. We're going to fill up the one group again. All right, let's go for Skagen. We might be attacked by the uh, by the castle nearby. Right, soften these guys up a little. All right, good. And we're just gonna wait for them to come. Before we start fighting, we're going to soften them up a little more. Nope. 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 Just gonna have them come towards us. Oh, that was rough. Okay. We're gonna raise this town. Okay. I wonder if we're going to get attacked by this castle. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. You're right here in the woods. Yeah, rock home. I think that's maybe the dwarven hometown. I'm not sure. Can I disband this unit? No, no, I don't want... Oh, God. I think that's just retire entirely. Let's save. Let's make another save. J2. Okay. Um. Mm-hmm. I guess things are working out quite nicely. You cannot actually disband a unit. So... Oh, Rune Sword, Viking Hero, two units of Berserkers. Ah, well, that's good. The raiding stuff that worked. Also good. The turns are starting to take a lot longer than they used to. Might actually up the CPU cycles a little bit for that. We're gonna see. God of poetry. God of poetry. And for the god of poetry, you need to plunder five cities. Ager, god of the oh, this is for Grendelheim. And defeat the giants there. Okay, I get it. God of summer. Yeah, defeat one monastery. We're going to do this right now. Uh, we might actually get some elves out of this, which is good. That is Talon. Oh, 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 oh. We've kind of lost our ship here, didn't we? Yeah, we did. You know what? I think I might conquer Talon. Hmm. Also, we're going to build a little thing here. I'm going to make this a medium castle. I'm gonna. Oh no, we cannot actually build a small castle right now. I hope they're not going to attack me here. Go blood axe. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to attack these guys. Oh no, it's, that was actually bad. That was bad. That was bad. I don't have ranged units here, so they're just going to wait for me. <laughs> and I'm going to... No, oh, that was terrible. Have you ever played a strategy game before, Jay? Have you ever done that? Because nothing is going to happen now. Well, let's go in. Let's go in. Oh, that was so terrible. That was so terrible. I should not have done that. 
Can we actually flee? Yeah, we can run. I mean, that's very unfortunate, but... Okay, that was ridiculous. All right. Okay, that is Skargen. Oh, hello. Okay, let's go back to Skagen here. Let's start a colony here before they can. You know, let's use one of our bowmen. Okay, and this is our new group. I don't like these units all, all around me. I think we need to start fortifying a little bit. Um... What do I need to do now? Oh yeah, I need to actually raid a monastery again. Guess we're just gonna do that. All right. Let's sail south. Okay, wait. No, I did the wrong thing again. Oh. All right, well, let's do this. Let's get you away without the ship. Let's get you in here. Let's recruit. You know what? We're going to do a very ranged focus group. I think that's good. A focus group of ranged units. And turn. Oh yeah, now they are attacking. Mm-hmm. Let's have them move in. Okay, we might lose this group, actually. Or at least most of it. Oh well. Oh well. Hmm. <coughs> Okay, let's soften them up again, as you do. Yes. No. 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 Ah, suckers. Ooh. Oh, hello. Now oh, they are strong. Okay. Done when ready. Sure. <laughs> Participants, and all, so Jed L. Clemens says, an all range party tested very well with the focus group. The participants were all impaled before entering the conference room. The personal best for the party. I feel like that's what should happen in conference rooms. You know, a conference room meeting without at least one impalement is not a good conference meeting. Victorious in combat. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to raid the monastery just to get done with the quest. Um, we're going to move forwards because I need to be able to shoot the bow person. Go back. Now we're going to wait. No, you're not going to wait. You're going to attack. Yes, you're going to wait. All right, that was a hit. That was a hit with the kids. Go down, boom. Shoot him, now. All right. All right. Ah, there we go. 
So that's the monastery again. So that is good. So we got rid of that. Uh, you know what? Let's go up here again. There's that group. Yeah. Let's build a tower here. I think we need to kind of fortify this in this town. Ugden. Interesting. Let's start a colony here as well. You know, I'm going to get rid of a bunch of bowmen here, but it's okay. I can deal with that. Vasta. Okay. Um, all right. So, we got a good group here with five ranged units and a dwarf group. So, we are in a pretty good spot in that way. I think we might actually use those to kind of start raiding these shores here. All right. <coughs> okay, you can't move any further. This is going to be our colonized group. We're going to use those to establish or to subjugate, <coughs> rather to establish new towns. I'm still not sure whether that is actually a good idea or not, but we're going to see about that. Um, let me see, where's our quests? Tomes, quest. Monetary race comp quest complete and uh, yeah that's Grendelheim we also need to do that town size berg size two cities of at least village size I think I need to I, I'm going to do that one next because that's going to be easy um, this is a town okay so that's town so this is berg okay so this is berg this is town. You know what? We might actually do the Berg thing first. And we need to actually sack Grendelheim, which <coughs> we can do now because we got rid of the castle here. And there's giants there, so we need to be careful about that, I guess. Um, I guess we're just going to take one of these groups and get them there. Yeah, Talon is back up to to speed again uh yeah okay all right can destroy dvina i think that how about you don't do it like that you do it like that yes okay let's attack dvina i think that's gonna be all right <laughs> These dwarves look funny. Mm. I'll move you back. Shoot. Come on, kill the bowmen. Kill them, please. Oh no. Ah, well, that worked at least. Yes, first one dead. Okay, already decided to topple the walls. That is good. Let's see whether we can get rid of... Ugh, come on, guys. Get rid of the golden one. Well, not get rid of them, but soften him up a little. Um, yes. And the red one. Okay. Ah, that was that was stupid. No, that was stupid. Ah, well, I can still do this. Okay, no. You move back. You are going to attack this one. Now you're going to attack this one. All right. So soften. Come on. All right. At least that worked. And we're going to move forwards now. No! 
You killed my archer. Oh. Well, that was ridiculous. Okay, at least we destroyed this one. And now we can actually go for these towns. Which is good. I might use one of these archers to fill that back up. And, uh, yeah, you know, we're going to see. We're going to see about that. Done. You are done for now. You're not going to do anything. With my ridiculous berserker group, I should probably get that one back soon because it's just nonsense. Um, and how about we're gonna build a little castle here, and we're going to no, we cannot actually do that in the woods. Ah, interesting. But yeah, we can actually make this a large castle. Let's do this. Probably going to be useful. And uh, yeah. All right. All right. Hmm. Let's end the turn. Location of Stonehenge and two units of elves. Awesome. The elves are better, <coughs> are better ranged fighters, essentially. So uh, I think we're gonna have to make good use of those. We need to make a good. We need to create a good. Uh, a good party of. A map info that Stonehenge. God of Sith, Earth Goddess. Starting at least. Okay, we're going to go through the elves right now. We should have done that earlier, actually. Um, we're going to get this group back because we're going to fill you up with elves. Um. <coughs> All right, you need a ship. <coughs> You're going to attack Talon. Again, poor, poor old Talon. <laughs> yeah, and they sally forth because we have so many archers. Does it make sense to move forward? Yeah, it does. I'm going to move all of our troops forward a little bit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is all bad. I did that wrong. I did that wrong. Oh, I did that so wrong. Ah, yeah. There we go. Well, five was nice, but... <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right, at least that. Boom. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. For some reason, the cursor is crapping out. Ah! This is bad. Oh no! Ah! Okay. Um, I want to raise. Oh god, this is terrible. Okay, so we're gonna do file. Save as. J3. And save. And I guess that's just what's happening right now with my, with my games. I, it just all craps out. Okay, let's end. I hope this is salvageable. I hope restarting the game will do the trick. It was, a it was a time of chaos in Midgard, I know. Load old. 
We're gonna have to restart this turn. No, we don't. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Lost two units here. That's ridiculous. Ah, well. It was too good to be true. <laughs> okay. It's fine. It's fine. It is, in fact, fine. Yeah, I've been going for about two hours. I think I'm actually... You know what? I think I'm actually going to... Oh dear, London. City of London. Wow, that's gonna be rough. It would be fun to sack London, though. Stonehenge. Do we need to go there at some point? Probably, right? Canterbury? Just murder the British. Sounds like a like a good time to me. You know what? We're going to get these folks over here. And there's the elves, indeed. Uh yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to end the stream for now. There's stuff I need to do. So uh, I'm going to back, be back with Hammer of the Gods. I think I'm going to make this as kind of a, as a, you know, I'm going to try to complete a, a full game of this. Maybe we, with some longer streams as well. Um, in terms of Caves of Cut, I'm going to be back with the game. I'm going, let's see what, I don't know what I'm going to do on Monday. I might be back with Caves of Cud, although, um, well, I'm not sure. Uh, if not, I'm going to play some other roguelike. We're going to see about that. But uh, yeah, thanks you all for watching. And I hope you will have a nice, a great, a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye. End stream.